Okay, Peter, what's the story? Well, today we have the Desert Wind Vineyard. Here we've got, uh, we're going to try two wines today, folks. Uh, the Viognier. This Which is looks like... 2009 model. Yeah. Show that to the boys and girls. Right about there. Yep. It's a little bright. And, uh, and then we're going to sample um, the Rua, I think it's pronounced. How do you say that? Are you? Rua. Rua. I like know. the way it sounds, Rua. Yeah, we just made it up. We don't know. Here. Um, All right, so there's another little tasty trait. Looks like that. And uh, what uh, sort of wine is that? Uh, this is a this is a sort of a Bordeaux blend, you know, Cab Merlot, Cab Franc, sort of uh, blend from their 07. This, in my understanding, is that this is their sort of prominent effort or their best pick from the, uh, from mm -hmm. the vineyard sites. So you've got the creme de la creme. You have the best... Red fruit from the best spots of the vineyard and the winemaker made the call and put it all in a bottle. Right there. But so right now we are starting with the Viognier. Yeah, the Viognier. This is, this is from Wahiki Slope, so uh, that's sort of the far eastern part. Um, it's been 10 years since I drove by there, but it's it's pretty warm climate. I mean, it's it's very, it's very little rainfall and, and quite warm. Um, so Bordeaux varietals and uh, Rhone varietals will do well there. Um, in that high desert, but uh, it's um, the, the question is, can they keep their acid down? You know, those are the issues. Um, All right, well, let's uh, take a look, see, shall we? On the nose, what are you getting? This very classic Viognier. You know, lots, lots of rose going on. Lots of, you know, peaches. Mm -hmm. and... Yep, peaches. It's like um, that peach syrup when you open like a can of peaches or something. Um, it's that syrup that's in there. Yeah, no, no sweetness, sweet. just in the, you smell mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, wow, it does have nice acid. It's got great acid. So you know what that means, oh. buzzword, great acid, great food wine. We? Oui? Uh, usually, yeah. Usually. And, um, but yeah, there's a very, uh, very well put together, very light, uh -huh. very clean it's style. It's very light, but it's not, I don't think there's too much acidity on the finish. You know, sometimes you'll get those wines that have such high acid that on the finish your mouth is watering like crazy and it's... it's um, uh, no, this is this is good. This is yeah. balanced. It's, uh, very well balanced. You get a lot of tropical fruits, yeah. like a tropical fruit medley. Yeah, we got that the, uh, tangerine finish. going on. Here's the, here's Just the rind of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, with the dryness in the finish. Hmm. I will say that um, this evening we are tasting outside. Very excited, living yep. in Michigan. It's cold as heck most of the time. Don't try to stop but, us. Uh, <laughs> the months that it's not, we're out on our porch all the time. So this is uh, one of the first in our um, porch sipping series. Yes, if you had winters like Michigan, you would take advantage of the porch in the uh, summer, no doubt. Indeed. So, very lovely one. Anyway, moving right along. Here we have the Rua or something, something. We don't know what it's called. It's a beautiful blend. And uh, there you go. Ladies first again. Always. Yes, see. Okay. So again, then, this is a blend. Um, oh, gorgeous nose. 07, not a warm climate for Washington State, uh, although clearly there in region is, tends to be quite dry. Mm -hmm. What are you getting on the nose of this one? It's pretty subtle, I think, on the nose here. But then again, we're just coming from smelling the Viognier, so you never know. It sort of seems on the nose a bit kind of Pinot-esque in that it seems just very velvety, kind of talky. Um, you don't get like that bright perfume on it. Um, Again, very impressed that they keep the, the acid levels good uh, for warm climate uh, and probably good levels of sugar at the harvest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very very nice. I like it. It's a beautiful good, blend. Yeah. Good, good balance to it. This is definitely older world style in, uh, in Washington. It's not going to have the big fruit if you're looking for the big uh, richness and whatnot. Probably is not your wine, but, uh, yeah. but it 
It's a very nice uh, example, very balanced, great food wine. I love the structure of it too, and you can tell this is a, um, a well put together blend because it's not disjointed. You don't have, you know, some cab qualities here and some um, cab franc here and some merlot. I mean, it's all blended what? together very well. Well, sometimes you have these blends that'll be just kind of like all over the board, you know? Well, it's because the acid and the fruit don't mesh together. That's, that's the disjointedness of it. Right. So you have good meshing going on here. That's a new term. Meshing. When a wine just fits together the way it's supposed to. Any more to say? Uh, no. Alright. So good night and cheers. Yeah, very nice job. Thanks for joining me. Bonsoir.